Hey, it's your friend Choice CJ here, and this is episode number 12 of our Tales of Symphonia Let's Play. Uh, things are starting to heat up. We are standing right outside of the third seal. Um, this is the seal for the Summon Spirit of Wind, and we are going to head right on in and see what happens. If you want to figure out how we got here, I recommend you check out the previous episode. It was pretty fun. Uh, let's jump into this narration. Uh, Rain says, Climb the central stairway and offer the map at the altar. Yes, Professor. So yeah, we did uh, stop here at the beginning of last episode, but it, we weren't going to be able to get in without the map. So that's good to know. They came here for sightseeing, but it's not all that interesting. Well, that's because the thing's closed. Um, but we should be able to drop in this map and we'll be all set. It seems to be responding to the map of Balakroff. It's an oracle stone! Just like we thought, this is a seal. Okay then, I'm going to put my hand on it. Let's hurry up and get this over with. Okay, here we are inside. Oh, this is pretty cool! I feel like an explorer. You always start out enthusiastic. I can hear the sound of wind! Alrighty, so we have a little bit of work to do here. We have to kind of solve this puzzle. And of course, oops, to make things more challenging, we've got these, uh, these spikes in the ground that are pretty annoying. So, yeah, we're going to spend this episode uh, fighting through the seal here, trying to make it all the way to the end where we can meet up with Remiel and pass the trial. And uh, that might not take the whole episode, so we'll probably progress a little bit further after that. And, but, you know, we'll do the best we can. So, as we get started with this, I do want to ask you guys a question of the day. Uh, today, the question is going to be, what is your favorite element? Um, and I don't mean, like, from the periodic table of elements, like in real life. Uh, I mean of, like, the main four elements that you see in most sort of fantasy fantasy settings. Um, in this game, we have the elements of um, earth, uh, fire, uh, water, and wind. Um, are like the main ones, but there's more as well. I think there's ice. You can kind of look at genus and figure out here. So we have water, fire, wind, then ground. But there's also lightning and ice as additional elements. So I guess there's six elements in this in this setting. But I would say like the traditional ones are sort of like um, fire, earth. And then usually like water and ice are kind of clumped together, and then you could say like wind and lightning um, are kind of lumped together. So what is your favorite? Um, what does this say? The Balakruff are people of the wind. They are born with the wind, live with the summon spirit, and become as wind when they die. Now, this is metagaming a little bit, but these little things that they write on here are actually important for the rest of the game. So I'm actually going to write this down on a piece of paper real quick. Because um, it might be important. So Balakruff are people of wind. Um, born with the wind. Uh, live with the summon spirit and become wind when they die. Okay, sorry, I might do that a couple more times. Um, but I do know that we should push this guy down and we'll come back up here in a moment, but I'm pretty sure that we need to go ahead and place this block on here because this does something. It turns off the wind is what it does. So that's great. Yeah, here's another thing here. Alright. Um, the world is a giant. The world of giants. 
its ruby left hand is the throne of the gods. Ruby left hand is the throne of the gods. Its emerald right hand is the power of the gods. Emerald right hand is power of the gods. It's pearl white leg, le or pearl white left leg is the calm earth. Pearl white left leg is calm earth. It's topaz right leg is the rich earth. Okay. I'm like trying to like shorthand this. And it's Lapis Lazuli body is the Blue Wind Princess. Lapis Lazuli body, Blue Wind Princess. Okay, thanks for bearing with me, guys. Like, it might take a little bit longer to write it down, but I think in the long run it's going to end up saving us time. Because there is a puzzle at the end where this becomes important. And so, sorry if that's spoilers. Uh, but it's okay. Uh, but yeah, so what is your favorite element? And I guess kind of like a correlated question is like, what is your favorite sort of um, like fantasy series that emphasizes the elements? Um, for me, like the first one that really comes to mind from like recent pop culture is the Avatar. If you're not familiar with that series, it was put up by Nickelodeon. Um, it's kind of funny because it wasn't targeted at like a young adult crowd. But it became really popular with like the probably like a 17 to 25 demographic, and and probably younger as well. But it oops, I'm not doing very well with this. Um, I'm gonna heal up with rain. Um, okay, and uh, let's go ahead and give her an orange gel to get back up to a higher amount of TP. No, we really didn't even need to go that way. Yeah, there are lots of annoying traps in this one here. Um, okay, cool, we do have the memory seal, apparently. Alright, let's write this down. Um, sorry, I'm just like, trying to organize myself here. Uh, Summon spirit and the wind that serves it are to be found beyond the carving of the holy seal. Is that is that one even important? I'll write it down anyway. Summons, spirits, and wind that serves are to be found beyond carving of holy seal. That probably just means you have to get through this in order to get to the summon spirit. So I don't think it's really all that important. But anyway, alright, so let's see if we can, uh, avoid this. Alright, so far so good. Oh, not that time. Darn it. Alright. Then let's kill this guy. But yeah, the Avatar, Last Airbender, put out by Nickelodeon. Really popular with, like, um, kind of like older teenagers and, like, college students. And so I don't think they necessarily expected it to be quite so successful. And so there was a lot of demand for additional content once the main series ended. So they came out with like a spin-off series called uh, Legend of Korra, where the new avatar is, you know, brought into the world and, you know, they kind of updated the themes and stuff, kind of made it a little bit more, I guess, age appropriate. Because again, like they like, kind of designed the original series for children, but didn't realize that it was gonna have such a good reception amongst like the slightly older audience. Um. So they made it a little bit more mature, they changed up to sort of like a steampunk sort of theme. Oh, this is, okay, so we can't read this without turning off the air, because we need to get the torch lit. So let's see what we can do. But yeah, the Avatar is, you know, the master of the four elements. Alright, so that opens that. So I'll just quickly duck up here so you guys can see. Oh. Growl. Corinne!
Alright, and she races right on in. So yeah, so you can see, now there's this room in here. Um, that has all these little, I guess, wind vanes. And you have to kind of figure out the right uh, order in which to turn them on. Um, but we can't turn them on with our sorcerer's ring. We have to go back. And uh, we have to go to that thing that changes the sorcerer's ring right below us. And then there's other instructions. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but this is like a destructible wall here. There should be some instructions on how to open those uh, later on in here. Uh, but yeah, you know, Avatar is supposed to be the master of all four elements, but um, the first Avatar, like, it, it, the um, Avatar is, you know, I guess rotates between the different elements each time in terms of like what sort of tribe they're from. So in the original Avatar series, Aang is uh, from the uh, air tribe. And then in Korra, uh, she's from the Water Tribe. And uh, Aang also travels around with a couple of friends from the Water Tribe uh, after they found him. Like, he had frozen himself in ice for, like, a hundred years or something like that. So, like, for me, like, just in the context of that series, I really like the water. Did we earn the title of Grand Swordsman? And we did make a capture. Okay, great. In that context, I've always sort of appreciated the water element the most. Um, Alright, let me write this down. Uh, the Great King of Balakroft, Cleo III. Uh, let's say Cleo III died reborn as King of the Wind. King of Wind. The King travels the heavens with the Summon Spirit in past, present, and future. Travels heavens with summon spirit um in past present future i just hope i can actually read what i wrote when it's all done okay so i think one of these might be a mimic let's hope not nope neither of them were we just got some new armors uh not for you um, I'm gonna not give that to her, because I don't want to lower her intelligence. I'm gonna instead give it to... Oh yeah, I'm giving all this to Colette. Great. Because Colette has some spells, but it's not as important for her. Alright. So now I need to... Let's see what's down here real quick. Yeah, there's another thing down there. Beast hide, okay. So yeah, now all we need to do is move this block... Uh, down to here and we should be all set because this one that's blowing uh, sideways from left to right is blocking the one that we had trouble with earlier okay um, the throne or that which is offered to the throne of the gods that which offered to throne of gods from the power of the gods uh, makes the rich earth as the calm earth uh, rich as calm and arrives at the blue wind princess and arrives at princess this as this be as if the giant body in the manner of a clock's hand. So it's just basically saying it's going clockwise around until you get to the uh, blue princess starting with the throne of the gods. And the throne of the gods was the left hand, the ruby left hand. So great. That's the main thing we needed to know. I'm going to go back down to that place and hopefully not get squished. Just dodge these traps. All right, kill this guy. We might have a memory gem, so it's you know it's still worth it to fight these guys in case they drop that. Those are always useful in these um in these seals. Um, but yeah, sorry. So as I was saying, like it's kind of like I've, those um th those shows really make me like the the water element. And I also kind of always associate. I know this is kind of dumb, but I always associate water with like Legends of Zelda games. Because you always have that one water temple. It's like almost always at the very end. Um, it's like usually the second to last one. 
and I don't know, I've always liked those sorts of temples. And I've never really identified much with the other um, elements. I guess, like, uh, you know, fire is supposed to be, like, you know, sort of enraged and just raw power and things like that. That doesn't really mean much to me. Um, air is, like, pretty zen. But, I, you know, I guess water is sort of zen as well, but I don't think it's as much. Okay, let's see this. Uh, holy seal that extols the king. Extols king. Flows from the throne of the god. From throne of god. To rich earth. Uh, travels from the power of god. Travels from power to the calm earth. And when the blue princess, wind princess, is born in the center of the world, then blue wind princess in the center, the holy seal shall also be complete. Okay. Um, so I think that might actually be the, the right way forward. Like, that's the combination. But I'm not sure. I'll have to think about it. And I think there's one other combination that should get us the other... What do you call it? Get us the other door broken. And I'm pretty sure there's treasure behind each of those doors. So hopefully we can make that happen. Yeah, I really like always the, always like the water temples. Um, I've never really been a big fan of the fire element in general. Um, you know, I like some of the sort of superheroes that feature fire. Like, um, that guy from the Fantastic Four who uses fire is pretty cool, I guess. Um, people like Gambit, like in X-Men, are pretty cool characters, I think, in the way that they use fire. But it's just never really been, like, my element. Um, as I was saying, wind is, wind is kind of zen, even though I guess water can also be sort of zen. Oh, am I even going the right way anymore? No. I, I did want to come back here and, and save real quick. Because that seemed worth it. And then Earth, like, I don't really know. Earth doesn't really have, like, a lot of uh, identity, in my opinion. Like, it's just kind of, like, bland. And I guess, you know, they're, like, sturdy and, like, can kind of, like, make it through the rough times or whatever. Which is cool in its own way, I guess. I should use a thing on Kratos since he is petrified. What are some other elements of, or some examples of elements in pop culture? Um, like other than in like video games and stuff. I'm trying to think, as I, as I think of them, I'll, I'll let you guys know. If you guys can think of any other cool um, series of, uh, of books or games or TV shows that are sort of based around the elements, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Because it's always cool, at least I think. Also, I don't need to go this way. I need to go here. All right, let's see if we can make it. All right, did it. Let's not get squished here either. Yeah, I'm having trouble thinking of some off the top of my head. At least the ones that are like as pronounced as the Avatar. Um, did we already? Did we already read that one? Oh, that's right. We still need to do. We need to come down here and do this. Hmm, the sorcerer's ring is acting weird. I guess it makes wind. I wonder what you use it for. Gee, I don't know. Could it be the wind chamber up here? So yeah, one of these... So let me pause for a second and read what I've written down here. So that which offered... That which is offered to the throne of the gods from the power of the gods makes... Uh, rich earth has calm earth and arrives at the princess. So, and it moves in a, moves in a, um, uh, clockwise manner. So let's see what this does. Okay, cool. So that breaks open the one door. But what about the second one? Next gen level two. Great. Alright, so let's duck out of here for a second. Did I write down anything else that would have done this? 
No, we're still missing one, I think. Because the next one that I have should open um, it. When you do from the throne of the gods to the rich earth, tracks from the power of the gods to the calm earth. And that one is the one that opens the seal. But there must be another one around here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Is it up here? Like, I could probably just sort of, like, tinker around until I figured it out. Yeah, this is the one that I just did. So that's no big deal. Um, can we dodge this guy? Uh, yes. Did it. Now I have to just dodge all these traps and things, which is kind of annoying. And crap, we ran into another enemy. At least these guys are easy too. But I like this as like a sort of puzzle. Like you, you kind of have to, like it makes you feel clever when you figure it out, right? Even though it's not honestly that hard. Um, and also if you weren't paying attention to all of the if you weren't paying attention to all the, the little rules and uh, dialogues here, you would probably be more frustrated because then you have to like go back and figure it out. Like we're gonna end up finishing this relatively quickly. Like I don't think we're gonna be in here more than another 10, maybe 15 minutes tops. Oh, cool, we're gonna, we're turning into pros at making this cabbage roll. Yeah, but did I read this guy? The Holy Seal that extols the king. Yeah, this is the one that opens everything. Um, can we not fight this guy? Alright, nailed it. So where's the last one? I think there is one down by the memory gem here, but I think I got it already. The Summon Spirit in the Wind, yes. That doesn't really tell me anything too interesting. Maybe if I just go and do it again? Because I already got this one. They're people of the wind. Yes. The world is a giant. It's... Yep. I don't think that that one is indicating an order to press the buttons in. It's just explaining what each of them what represents and how to decode your other... the other codes. How to decode the other codes. So that's all that I'm thinking that one is for. But we'll see. I might try it. Because, you know, just the completionist in me really wants to get all of the, um, all of the items, right? Like, I die a little inside when I can't get everything. Um, let's use... Oh, it does, no, does cure poison, that's what I thought. I think rain has an ability that cures status as well, so maybe we'll use that the next time. So that way we don't have to waste uh, precious items. Rain's also really low on TP, so let's give her an orange gel. Whoops. Did not mean to give myself one, but it's not a big deal. It's good for us to have more. So where is the last one? Unless we, like, make it happen by clicking it twice. Do we use this one? Oh, no, we didn't get this one. Okay, this is it. Um, that which the blue princess... Blue wind princess. Blue wind princess heads from the throne of the gods across the rich earth. Throne of gods to rich earth. Stands upon the calm earth. And gazes up at the power of the gods. Okay, so that's the last one. Alright, got hit there, but that's not a big deal. Did I already get the item from here? I did, yeah. Okay, so this is... what do we say? So from Blue Princess, to Throne of the Gods, to the Rich Earth, then the Calm Earth, to the Power of the Gods, which opens up there. Excellent. Can we get through here and not hit that guy? Probably not. But let's try. Because now we... Okay, so we do that, we only have the two to contend with. So now we say... Uh, what was the last one? 
The holy seal onto the king starts from the throne of the gods to the rich earth. So the, oh, that's the calm earth. Let's try again. So there, there, um, from the power of the gods to the calm earth to the blue princess. And there we go. The door made a little move and now it's open. There we go, all completed. And now we can get a cutscene. We're finally at the altar. I am sick of dungeons. You have no patience. <laughs> Wait, I sense incredible mana. All right, let's put Colette in here. Um, yeah, I need to, I need to have Genus. Uh, because his spell casting is too useful. Alrighty. Alright, so, so right off the bat, I'm gonna cast magic ones on this thing. So that way we can see which ones he takes extra enemy or extra damage from. And this thing is already kicking my butt. I really need to heal up already. It'd be nice if Rain would hurry up and learn some better spells. Because she only has first aid still. She's not a very good cleric. Alright, so let's now start wailing into this thing. We got a good combo going. Yeah, 31 hit combo. I can't complain about that. But now he's, uh, when they, when you knock them down, they're immune to stagger for a little bit, which is not great. So is it actually weak to ground? I guess it is. Oh no, it's not abundantly clear to me how that works. Um, I need an orange gel. I think if I do that, yeah, so now I can see its health. So I'm still not even halfway done, so I have a ways to go. Which is fine. I don't mind having a ways to go on this thing. We just got started. I'm interested to see what it does though, like in the second half of the boss fight. Like right now it's doing this thing where it casts the, the spines out of its feathers. Also I need to heal. I just got a second heal, but more heals are always good. And uh, Rain has plenty of TP left, which is good. I'm getting a little low and Genus is really low. So let's use one in Genus. So now he has more, so we can keep on casting that Stalagmite, because that's working really well. And he's using Stone Blast, that's fine. Nope, hang on, back up. That brought us to like 20 health. That would have been pretty bad if we hadn't gotten healed. Not that it's a bad thing if we die, it's just frustrating. Like, I, I hate <laughs> I, I hate dying in battle. Because then it's like, alright, let's just figure out who he is, who has enough, um, who's far enough away from the enemy to uh, use a life bottle on us. Oh, and now Colette's dead. So we'll hear her. And uh, Genus is also really low. Hopefully Rain's casting first aid on him, which she does. So, excellent. And we really need an orange gel. Alright, everybody go all at it at once. We got this. And I'm really low on health again. I don't know if there's a way, like, I just always play sort of like this, like, really sort of reckless. I don't know if there's a more optimal way, but this is the fun way. Because Lloyd's supposed to be up in the action, like, you can't really be further away. Um, life bottle. I'm also not sure, like, if a party member dies while unconscious, do they get the experience? I'm not sure. Alright, we're really close. Come on. We got this, guys. Also, it'd be really nice if somebody would heal me, but nobody has any TP. Colette, don't die. We're so close. 
we are so close. Yeah, there we go. I was able to save our items. That was a three minute fight. That's a long time. And we successfully prepared cabbage roll. Excellent. Alright, another cutscene. Chosen of a generation, you have done well in reaching this far. Now, offer your prayers at the altar. Yes! I'm surprised they don't do voiceovers for this. O oh, Goddess Martel, great protector and nurturer of the earth, grant me thy strength. Oh, hey, look who it is. It's our buddy Remiel. This is the third seal. You have done well reaching this far. Chosen one, Colette. Thank you. Receive this blessing, the gift of angelic power from Crucius. Yes, Father, thank you. The next seal lies far northwest, in a place that gazes upon the center of the world. Offer your prayers at the altar in that distant land. I shall do as you say, Lord Remiel. I will be waiting for you at the next seal, Colette, my daughter. Alright, Remiel, see you later. Good chatting with you as always. The end of your journey is close. Hurry and become a true angel. Do not disappoint me. A true angel. What is it? Ah, uh, nothing. I was just thinking, when I become an angel, it'll be amazing. I wonder how many more seals there are. That we don't know. At any rate, all we can do is keep going. Kronos is out of here. Colette learned Holy Song. Cool. I don't remember what that does. I think it's an attack. And everybody's healed up, which is great. Um, Holy Song. It increases defense and offense of our entire party for a time, which is actually pretty good. I uh, can't complain about that. So one thing I am keeping in the back of my mind is... Something that will show itself in a moment here. We just want to get out of here. If I could not fight anybody, that would be great. Oh, nope, don't get my wish. Just gotta fight these skeletons and spiders real quickly. We do have full health at least. I'd like to stay pretty close to full if possible. Alright, so she casts Holy Song, which is nice and all, but I'm not really sure that we need it. Ooh, nice. Sonic Sword Rain. I do like that. Should follow up a sword rain with a uh, sonic sword rain. Um, yeah, let's put sonic sword rain here. So this should be pretty cool. I don't, I don't know how. I'm still a little confused on how to do the combos. Like, it doesn't it's not exactly working the way I thought it would. So I'll think about it in a little bit. I don't want to practice right now because I don't want to spam TP. But we're almost there. We did get that Sonic Sword Rain. Alright, cool. That was 43 seconds, really? That was a long time. Right, now let's not get chewed up here. And we made it. And the exit is right here. Stop! That voice. Oh no. 
This day has finally come. This ancient ruin shall be your graveyard. Oh, you're here too! Stay back! Don't move! Don't touch anything! Now that we've finally become friends, why do we have to fight? Since when are we... I have no intention of befriending you. Prepare yourselves. Get ready. Alright, we get to take on Sheena again. Let's make this happen. Can we kill her seal thing? That would be really nice. This is where I'm gonna try and figure out the, the combo. If I don't get killed first. Because this thing is definitely annoying. That didn't even do all that much damage. Alright, genius, hang in there. You're doing good. It's like a boss fight followed by a boss boss fight. Seriously, genius is like struggling hardcore. I guess he's just getting target fired. And you know, I'm not there to to quote unquote soak up the damage. Yeah, you can see I'm trying to figure out how this works, and I've like lost all of my TP in the process. And I haven't even started fighting the main boss yet. I'll get it one of these days. Alright, now that's done. So now we can take care of Girl with the Pink Bow. If she doesn't kill us first. Yeah, and luckily we're doing a good job of getting her staggered. And uh, that spell definitely helps. Although I don't like it when they get knocked down. Okay. What is she casting? Angel Feathers. Okay, that's good. That did not a lot of damage. That's okay. Alright. We really need to get out of here. Because I need a Apple Gel. Alright, now Colette is also out. And we take her out. Excellent. Good job, everyone. We got some nice grade out of that. Almost four points of grade. Excellent, excellent. Ark, why? Why can't I win? Goodness and love will always win. Genus, please don't bring up that stupid dwarven vow. Goodness? What do you mean, goodness? If you're good, I'm good as well. <laughs> Not you, too. Everyone, stop saying corny things. What do you know? When you regenerate the world, my country will be destroyed. I won't let that happen, I swear. Wait, what are you talking about? If I regenerate the world, everyone will be saved, right? This world will be saved. Stop! Who are you? So you're not alone? This world, what did she mean? That girl, is she... Do you know her? No, let's get out of here. All right. So yeah, that took about as long as I thought it did, and now we get to see Colette fall on her face. Colette! It's the angel Toxicosis again. Let's hurry and let her rest. Are you okay? I'm sorry to trouble everybody again. Don't worry about that, but... <laughs> what are you doing, Lloyd? Are you okay, Colette? Colette? What's wrong? Did it hurt? Did you hurt yourself? No, I'm fine. <laughs> I just blinked out for a moment. Colette, let me see your hand. Huh? Why? Just show me. You're hurt. It must have happened when you fell. Look how much you're bleeding. But it doesn't hurt. What? Uh, I mean, it doesn't hurt that much. Colette, can I talk to you for a sec? What is it, Lloyd? I thought it'd be nice for us to talk just by ourselves. Sure. 
Here, it's hot coffee. Thanks. Hot, isn't it? Yeah, really hot. It's actually iced coffee. What? I had Genus make it cold. Oh, uh, yeah, of course it's cold. I lied. It's actually hot. <laughs> I knew it! How long have you been like this? You can't feel anything at all, can you? Th that's not true. You're lying. When you fell earlier, you already couldn't feel anything, could you? Uh, well... But... Uh... You were bleeding like crazy, but you didn't even flinch when I squeezed your hand. I guess the secret's out. You haven't been eating lately, either. I eat? <laughs> Barely. You even started eating things you don't like. And that's not all. Have you been sleeping? Of course. <laughs> See, my eyes aren't red or anything. Stop lying to me. You always do that fake giggle when you lie. Th that's not true. Is it that hard for you to trust me? No, it's not like that. I just... I just didn't want anyone to worry. What's happening to you? I don't know. I don't know, but... Things first got strange when I released the fire seal. I suddenly didn't want to eat anything anymore. And even when I did, it didn't have any taste. No taste? I can't hold anything down when I force myself. So I haven't been eating. I never get hungry. That's... that's... Then when I release the next seal, I stop getting sleepy. I close my eyes, but I just can't sleep. I haven't slept at all since then. Then with this seal, I stopped feeling anything. Why? Why didn't you say anything? Well, I figured this is just what it means to become an angel. So I shouldn't let it get to me. This is what it means to become an angel? Not eating anymore? Not sleeping anymore? Not feeling anything anymore? But my eyes have actually gotten better. I can see really far away now. And my hearing too. I can hear even the faintest sounds really well. I can hear them so well that it's kind of painful sometimes. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was going on at all. I'm sorry. Please don't tell the others. Why? Well, I mean, we're all on this trip together and I want it to be fun. So I don't want you to worry about it either, okay? You're so stupid. I'm sorry, Lloyd. Even though you're crying for me, and I'm happy, so happy I want to cry. But I can't anymore. I'm sorry. So, that's what it means to become an angel. You lose everything that makes you human. So... Um, I am going to go ahead and end the episode here, actually, because I have to do a thing. But we will be picking up right where we left off in the next episode. So, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you sub to the channel. And that way you can stay up to date on all of my Let's Play and Pokemon content. So, until the next time, I will see you guys later.